got four characters in the game, four unique characters. We've got Dalton Brooks, Izzy Sinclair, Jacob Kimball, and Nia Devereaux. They're each, they each have different backgrounds, different backstories, which we tell in the game, and they, every single one has different weapons as well, which makes them fun to play, whether you're, uh, no matter what. Data log's been redacted, but its first entry is dated 1947. Hey, what did I Story just is really important to Fuse. Each of our four characters has a unique backstory, which we explain during the game. We also have lots of twists and turns in our main story. But our goal from the very beginning was to create a four-player co-op game with Strong Story. One of the cooler features that we have in the game is called Leap, where at any time you can switch between your characters. In many games, you are once you start the game, you are locked into a particular character. We decided not to do that. So if you're playing as Dalton and you see an opportunity to play Naya, you can use the leap function to immediately transfer to her and start playing as Naya. And the, the feature works great whether you're playing by yourself, with one friend, or two friends. As long as there's a bot playing one of the characters or more, you can leap into that bot. Fuse is an alien substance recovered from a crash by the U.S. government in the 1940s. And the government's been testing it and weaponizing it for the last few decades. But now, they figured out how to have Fuse power experimental weapons, which you pick up at the very beginning of the game. We built a brand new engine and tool set for this game in particular. This is our first multi-platform game at Insomniac, and we decided that it was the right time to invest in new tech and we're very proud to present what we think is the best looking game we've made. There are four main fuse weapons that you can pick up in the game, along with a whole assortment of standard weapons that you pick up and can use at any time. The fuse weapons have multiple abilities, and just to give you an example, Izzy's shatter gun can be used to crystallize enemies. That crystallization process will pull enemies up from, out, from behind cover and make them great targets for your teammates. But the crystallization also will crystallize nearby enemies, making it a great crowd control weapon. But the secondary ability that the gun has is in giving Izzy the opportunity to throw out healing beacons so you can revive down teammates. And for me, this is really useful because if I have friends who love to charge into battle and get taken down all the time, I can hang back as Izzy and fire my healing beacons from across the battlefield to heal them without being in trouble myself. In the game, cooperation is very important. In fact, we call it lethal teamwork. And we want to make sure that we're not forcing it on players. We want to reward players for working together. So what we do is whenever players work together, we give them more points than they would get if they worked on their own. And these are fuse points that you can use to unlock new abilities and buffs in the game through our fuse progression system. So one example might be that I'm Izzy and I crystallize a bunch of enemies, maybe pulling four enemies up from behind cover. Well, if Dalton comes by and blasts them all with his shield, we both get points, not just Dalton, Izzy also gets points for having crystallized them, and the aggregate is greater than where we're working on our own. <laughs>